Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gaming and Toy Time P. And this is a new New Holland React series. This is why you should download. Now, this is going to be the ranting part of my video. So if you don't want to uh, hear what, why I'm doing this, you could just skip until I actually get into the main reason about like what we're reviewing today. But one thing is, is that I feel like there are whole tons of mods. There's over a thousand mods on Mod Hub that you could choose from. And the thing is, is that they add up. You soon run out of space and figure out what you need to delete. Now, I've run that problem a few times, so I want to help you with what mods you should download. Like, these are mods you should have in the mod folder, specifically pointing towards more to a U.S. style. Since I am in the U.S., I do believe a lot of my viewers like U.S. style stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Now let's get into the tour. So, our first why you should download is going to be Griffin, Indiana. Now, I know a lot of people don't know this, but I love this map. This is my second favorite map behind American Life Farming. Um, this is what I would consider a build your farm map. Now, you do get a farm to start off with, but this is a pretty crappy farm. No justice against AJ Farmer. This is his first map, but I mean, it would be nice to actually see his real farm in real life come in the farming zone later. But, what you start off with is a house, base game house, a truck, chicken. That's actually a nice addition since chickens will get you money. Silo, a shed, and decoration over here. Now, you, you honestly start off with crap equipment. Uh, just cultivators, theaters, you can sell all the direct decorations and stuff. But that's what you basically start off with. And you also start off with uh, two fields. Field one up here, which is cultivated, which is a, one thing I think it's a positive, since you can choose what you want. And then another cultivated field down here. Now let's see, do you need a plow it? It needs plowing. They both need lime and they both need plowing. So that's a bummer, but um, that's basically the farm. I'm not really worrying about the farm. I'm worrying more about, uh, the map itself. Now, I want to talk about a blog post that I recently read in the Giants form. And what, what the guy was saying is, is that he's a console player. And he's always been looking for a, uh, uh, Midwestern style map. Since, oh, granted... When you go on YouTube, you watch, uh, you watch Squad, Grant, uh, the former Pickle, Rental Man, Buck, uh, Ketterk, uh, Clutch. I, I was about to leave you out, Clutch, I'm sorry about that. But, you see these maps you play, they play on, and you're like, at the console player, I want that map. But the thing is, it's 4X, 16X too many slots, all that stuff. And then we get stuck with crummy maps that none of us like. Like, they give you a, a stupid base game map of Ravenport, and they expect you that's the only American thing you're getting. Um, and then came around this map in early February, and I'm going to say mid-February 2021. I instantly fell in love with this map. As you guys know, I did a YouTube series on this. I never completed it because it was in a certain time in my life that was very chaotic. Um... Of me moving. So I really didn't have enough time to go film. I am thinking about restarting a series on this map. But uh. The blog post saying that this was. He likes this map. And granted he did not like the farm design. But he, after downloading some shed mods. And redesigning the farm. He learned to like it. And he loves this map. And to this very day. He's updated it. And he's started his farm. He's had a few the humongous success on this farm and he recommends it to be downloaded and a lot of other support tsh, trillions of com comments like probably the same amount of comments the US debt is worth has been posted about how good this map is now granted I never seen any like PC spotlight besides from uh, FS Club and DJ but the I, I can't really watch one of their videos, but I think what really sold this out to me was a Driver 53. Yes, I talk about Driver 50, 53 a lot, but he's a good friend of the channel. Um, 
he played on this series, and he was, like, in love with this map. Granted, this is where he grew up in, so that should hit home. But, let me really go over why this is just an amazing U.S.-style map, specifically Midwestern. It's a town. I don't know how simple that is. There's a town. And it's just... It gives the feel that you're actually, like, in. Like, you're actually in real life. You have to go to town to go sell your crops, all that stuff. Perfect for roleplay, honestly. Um, there's a lot of fields. The town just has, like, a generic vibe. Like... It just has, like, that vibe of realism in it. Plus, there's, like, whole tons of stuff to do, like, field work. Uh, field work, especially, like, there's a lot, there's, like, a few larger fields, like, 9, 10, 6, 18, 19. And then there's smaller fields, like, 15 and stuff like that. And you just have a lot of these glass, like, grasslands, which I learned to plow up and you get more fields. Which I think is what makes this map so special. The map is just, it's amazing. The map it just is, the, in my opinion, before American Life Farming, was better than Stone Valley. And Stone Valley at that time was hard to beat for American Life, for, for, for like American style playing. Um, but guess what? It did for me. And standing on this route, just getting a whole entire view of the map, it, this looks like something you do see in the, uh, quote-unquote, flyover America. Uh, even though it's not flyover, everyone should live here. Make them very life get off Twitter. Anyway, um, enough of my experienced advice. I did a whole entire map tour of this, so I don't want it to be directed as a map tour. More on just why, why you should download this. So here are some reasons why to download it. Number one, I think this is the main thing. It, it, it has a town. It has a Midwestern style town. Um, so this right here is Griffin, Indiana. Your dealership's here. It has a co-op. Um, BJ, all that stuff. It even has a train going through town. Like here, long train, like a BNSF that you would see just heading down with all the grain, getting ready to deliver. It has a baseball stadium. Like, yeah, a few players on your server. Go here, watch Saturday, watch Friday night play baseball, college, uh, high school baseball teams and get that stuff. Next is that uh, crop textures is a big thing. Like here, we see some corn and some soybeans. Now, it's just one thing, like, and then soil textures... Like, if we go to a cultivated field, well, that's plow. That's actually planted with potatoes. Um, like here, look, cultivated field. It just gives it more of a vibe. Um, next is, like, these small, like, back roads route. Now, when I grew up in Michigan, uh, this was one of the things that was around, like, uh, Taylor Romulus uh, driving down these roads. The stuff that you would see. And especially this going up around. Twist and turn and it's just straight openness. Um, yeah, stuff like that to just see. Um, telephone poles is, I would say, another thing that I think a lot of maps forget about. Uh, just the telephone poles. I just, I saw one. I was like, yeah, that's a little cool mention. But... Again, what's what the guy said on the Giants form? It gave him a Midwest side vibe. It gave him life where he lived. It like told him in real life what he, where he lived and how it felt. Stone Valley just didn't, I believe, in my personal opinion, just did not give you that same direct vibe because it was just openness. Illinois is a very boring, central Illinois is very boring. It's just open. Compared to it, where there's like a small town that you get to drive to. You know, like sitting on the hill, you see water tower, a church, uh, 
the the mayor's office, I mean town hall, uh, the co-op, tallest building, of course, because this is the country. Um, this, those are just reasons why to download this map. If you're honestly looking for something new, honestly, if you're looking to actually use your John Deere 40 series, uh, your small, uh, 9400s, this is the map for you because... Honestly, this is per this is just right for the small farming. Like this reeks small farming. The small homestead shed, open it up each morning. Uh, fly over Heartland Nation. But honestly, that is just the reason why to download this map. Now, let me just say two negatives. I already say one. Is it's just the farm's crummy. The farm's crummy in my opinion. This, I guess it's his first farm he've ever did. And it's hard to make modded buildings, but it's just a crummy farm. But granted, you can sell all this stuff, get that mods and stuff like that. Next, there's a little bit too much trees, and I get it. You can cut these down, but that's a hassle. I get, like, some trees are in a positive, because if I, when I do my Lone Oak review, I'm going to say trees are good, because that... It just, that map has the vibe for trees because it's Oregon. I don't know, Oregon and trees sound like two word nouns you put in a sentence together. I don't put Indiana, Indiana and trees together in one sentence. I put Indiana farm in a sentence. Uh, and like how you put Iowa and corn in one sentence. It's just, it's a little bit too heavily for, forested. Plus, with the Bigfoot stuff. Ooh, Bigfoot. It just kind of turns it off oh, sometimes. But honestly, if you are looking for an American map that you want to settle down in, download Griffin, Indiana. It's also a very small map to download. It does not take up a lot of space. Like, if you have 94%, bang. Download it. There you go. So, there you go. My first, why you should download. Hopefully you enjoyed, and please comment down below and just give the video like a thumbs up if you want to see more of this stuff. I'm planning on doing one of American Life Farming, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.